emotional intelligence is a hugely important thing to develop in our kids. And so I'm so thankful that books can help do that. And I have several books I'm going to talk about today. But Project Cornerstone, if you have heard of it, it is a program through the YMCA. And I learned that it is specifically only in the Silicon Valley at this moment. But I would love to hear if there's a similar program by you in your schools um, through another organization, because I think it is a fantastic program that should be everywhere in these schools. So just to tell you a little bit about the program, I volunteer through it and I go into um, the classroom once a month to read a book, read a discussion, and do something creative or an activity afterwards to help the lesson sink in. There are different themes for the year. For example, this year is developing empathy. And so we'll read stories about empathy, discuss it, um, and go a little more deeper into it. So it's not just academic at school, but there is a more fundamental relationship and emotional intelligence building um, on purpose. So some of these books I am going to share, but I am also going to be doing read aloud so that if you can't access the book, you can watch the video and have your child read the video or watch the video and read the book together and you can talk about it. And if you want some of the discussion questions or activities that you can do together, feel free to comment and I'm happy to share some of the things that we have done because this should be accessible to everyone. And if you don't have a program that does it near you, there's no reason you can't bring it into the house yourself. So let me dive into some of these. So first we have The Dot. If you have read it before, it is a cute story about a girl that thinks she can't do something, but it becomes more after someone believes in her and encourages her to do more, to just start, to see where it takes her, and then she's able to give back in the future to other people. So cute book called The Dot. Check out the read alouds for the books if you want to follow along or have your child follow along. The Invisible Boy, this is by Trudy Ludwig, and she does a beautiful job in writing this book. And there is some really cool parts in the illustration by Patrice Barton, where the invisible boy who feels invisible, he feels unseen, unheard, ignored for different reasons at school and slowly starts to be seen. It just takes one person to start noticing him, to start inviting him in, and he starts to become in color. For example, here he is invisible. He is grayed out. But as people start to notice him, look at that. Isn't that fantastic where he starts to come up in color? The illustrations for it is so fun. And it really does just take one person to notice. And your child could be that person that notices and brings in someone else, or they could be the child that wants to be noticed. There's a lot to discuss on this and being empathetic in noticing other people's needs in voicing your own and being your own person and being excited to be the person with different strengths, different um, talents, all of that. Very cute story. Love it. I Wish You Knew. This is a beautiful story about how each of us have things that make us act certain ways. And there are things we wish people knew about us. This girl, um, her dad was deported. And so she has this desire. I wish you knew how much I missed him. I wish you knew how much um, I want to share these things with him. All these things that makes it hard for her to do certain things or she gets teary. And it is a beautiful story that we all have things that other people, we wish they knew and they wish, or we wish they understood some of the pieces of us that are broken, that are sad, that are all the hard emotions. And it's okay to feel those emotions. And that's what we want to tell our kids. It's okay to share. It's okay. That's how we feel seen. That's how we feel heard. That's how we develop deeper relationships with people and understand others better because they have something we wish we knew too. So I wish you knew. And I will say, if you want 
the list of books as well as more recommendations for me, I have a one pager. So go to the link in the top of the channel. You'll get it sent to you immediately. Onward, Clovis Keeps His Cool. So this is an interesting book about a bull with a temper, but he is able to remember words of wisdom that have been taught to him. And despite people trying to bully him, he is able to keep his cool. And how do we do that? There's different ways in which we can manage the ways we go out of control. If we can diffuse things little by little, he has some ways that he does that. And he also remembers when he is about to really lose his cool that he is a bull, but he's not a bully. And he ends up reaching out to the people that are being mean to him or that are taunting him, and they end up being really good friends. So just a great moral about one, helping yourself keep your cool in different situations, as well as the importance of giving grace to others and seeing the better in others and extending that first hand of peace and where that could actually take you to very great places. Clovis keeps his cool. And another one, say something. This is about bullying and how sometimes saying something, one person can make a difference and there's different scenarios, but bullying is a real thing, sadly, in this world. And so if we can talk openly about our kids in different ways, um, that are safe to do so, different situations we might encounter, we might see, talk about what we would do in some of these scenarios. It will help them in the long run when they run into these and not freak out of what do I need to do? What do I need to do? And perhaps be a little more prepared to act the way that they would want to if they sadly run into some of these situations of bullying. If you found value in this video, as always, remember to hit that subscribe button and comment if you want more videos like this, because that is how I know what you want to hear. And I would love to share all the information I have with you to help your family journey on and develop more emotionally intelligent children. See you in the next video.